hello to you, you could say, hello, Mrs. Stevens. Try it. Hello, Mrs. Stevens. That way, you learn my name, and I can learn your name. So let's see who's sitting as nicely as me. OK, hello, Adeline. You can say hi, Mrs. Stevens. Hi, Mrs. Stevens. Good job. Hey, people, I want to show you something. Do you see this board right here? Yeah. Do you see how it has a happy face on it? Yeah. Let me see your happy face. Do you see how it has a not happy face on it? Yeah. Let me see your not happy face. Mm. Guess what? If you do a really good job, then I get to draw lines under the happy face. All right, let's see. Is everybody in the first row sitting so nicely? Uh, yeah. Is everybody in the second row doing a good job? Uh, yeah. Does third row look so amazing? Uh, yeah. Are we doing pretty good? Yeah. Okay, friends. If ever I see you doing awesome, I'm going to draw lines here. But if we forget and we make a boo-boo and we shout out or we forget to raise our hand, I have to draw lines here. Can I get a uh-oh? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's try to get more lines here and not so many lines here. Can I get a yeah? Yeah. Okay, friends, I'm going to show you something else that's new. Do you see this sign? Yeah. Yes. Does anybody know what this says? Closed. Closed. What do you think the other side says? Open. Open. <laughs> How did you know? It's opposite. The other side says open. If my sign says open, that means you can raise your hand and tell me something you want to say. Oliver, what would you like to say? Um, when um, they're closed, you have to um, go home. When they open, you have to go to the store. It is kind of like a store sign. In fact, that's where I got it from. Um, so, um, when you go to the store, it's like eek, eek. Sometimes it's closed and sometimes it's open. So when in the art room, if the sign says open, that means you can raise your hand and tell me something you want to say. But if the sign says closed, that means we have to put our hands out. And that's why Starling's hand went down. Uh-oh, sign says closed for much. And that means we'll have to talk later. So my sign says closed, Crystal and Starling, so that means put our hand down. But guess what? Sometimes you might have an emergency where you have to tell me something right now, like maybe you think you're going to be sick, or maybe you're really worried about something, and in that case you can say, Miss Stevens, it's an emergency. Okay? Can I get a got it? Got it. Every time we come to art class, I'm going to say hello to you, and it's going to look like this. I'm going to say, hello, my most amazing artist. And guess what you're gonna say? You're gonna say hello back to me. You're gonna do it with me right now. I'll show you. <clears throat> Have your hands out of your pockets because we're gonna learn how to talk with our hands too. You're gonna say this. Hello. 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 My, my, my most, most amazing, amazing art. art. Teacher. 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 Good. And I'm going to say, how are you? You're going to do this. Cross your fingers. Ready. 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 To, to, to create. Create. Well, then we better get started if you're ready to create. Yesterday, we were working on our sculpture. I only got two papers on my sculpture yesterday. <laughs> well, that's not very much. I want to make it bigger. More. Oh, oh, remember. My sign says close, so we're just listening, please. I want to make my bigger and bigger, and I want to show you how to do a couple of new things. To make, to make, to make, to make an arch. Uh, arch. Like yesterday. Like yesterday. First step. First step. Grab a piece of paper. Capture the bird. Hungry bird. Hungry bird. Not right now, ma'am, because I'm talking. Here I am. Here I am. Pitch. Pitch. Pinch. Feet. Stinky feet. Stinky feet. Open my glue. Open my glue. Keep it flat. Get my brush. Get my brush. If it starts to drip. Wipe it on the lip. Bite the bee's lips. Remember, 
remember, you can put this anywhere on your sculpture. It can go on top. It can go from here to here. It can go underneath. It can go wherever. The more you put on your sculpture, the better, but you have to hold it and count to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, I want to show you something new. Here's something new I want you to try. Grab a piece of paper and you're gonna fold it like a zigzag, I'll show you. I'm gonna fold it forward, and then I'm gonna fold it back forward, and then, and then forward, and then backward, and then forward, and up. Well, that's boring, Miss Clavins, it's just a little piece of paper. Oh yeah, i show you. <gasps> Can I get a, <laughs> Look, it's called a zigzag line. I can play it like an accordion. <laughs> and it already has feet, so I'm just going to put the glue on the feet. Don't freak out. It's going to be a little... Check it out, because now I can make stairs. Right? Yeah. Go from here to here. Or maybe it can be like um, on the playground. It's steps to go up to like the playground, but I have to still hold it and count to 10, otherwise, it will not. I'm going to take a pencil. There's pencils on your table. I'm going to show you how to make a spiral. So you can take your pencil. I've got it on my pencil with just my finger, and I'm going to wrap it around and around and around and around and around and around and around. And I'm going to say, poof, poof. What? It made a spiral. But guess what? This doesn't need feet. I just have to put a little bit of glue on the end. It's like a little snail. And I can put it anywhere, but if you hear this sound, that means you need to stop, look, and listen. 